welcome you all in this new video. This video is going to be a showcase for the new features released with the version 1.5 of the Blazor on. I have already set up a simulation with the help of quick effects and tweaked some more settings to get a different look. There is already a default shader here created by quick effects. In the panel, you can now see a drop down which is new with this version. In this update you can choose between the new shader or the old shader from the earlier version of this add-on. By default the new shader is selected. You can opt out to the old one if you want that shader back. When you click on the add play shader button with any of the selected preset, the shader will be added in the node editor. You can also do that from the menu in 3D view itself. The new shader is more detailed and you also get some more extra control over the shader. Like if you want to update the attribute for the flame, you can do that directly from the panel. Just type in the given input and click on the update attribute button and this will immediately update the entered attribute in the shader and an info message saying attribute updated successfully will be shown below in the info bar and currently there are 4 valid attributes for Mentaflow that can be entered here Flame, Heat, Density and Temperature If you are trying to enter any other attribute than this or you have misspelled any of them you will get an error message of an invalid attribute is that is not going to work the old blade shader is still the same but one new thing is you can change the attribute value for this also from the panel. You can change the attribute values for VDB volume shader also. The only thing it does not applies to is the smoke shader. If you like the real flames preset present in the old shader you may want to switch to this as this preset is not present in the new shader. The old shader is a little bit faster but less detailed so if you want fast renders and fewer details you can go with the old one. The smoke shader is also the same as the previous version of this add-on. It has a very simple controls. You can directly control the smoke density and the smoke strength by the two respective sliders. The smoke strength slider will make your smoke emitting and more bright. And some more controls for the amount of mixing of colors from for the available presets are present in the panel. So you can directly control which color to appear in what amount from there. Now let's talk about VDB volume shader. I have already prepared a scene for demo purpose. Here in the scene I am importing the VDB volume file which is exported from Embergen. And by the way these cards are from the transportation and on a vehicle library and on. You can check it out from the link in the description. So here after adding the VDB file I am going to add blaze shader to it. You can do it either from the menu in 3D view or from the node editor. It doesn't matter. For this shader the drop down will not work as there are no changes for the shader. So whatever may be selected in the drop down it won't matter. In both the conditions the shader will be the same. That drop down is only for shader for Mentaflow simulation. By default it looks pretty good as with this new version I have revised the default values for the better look. For Cycles render engine it will give you directly the best look but for the EV render engine you generally need to change the volumetric tile size to around 2px for more detail. That's why I have already added this to the add-on and now the tile size will be set to 2px by default while adding the shader. You can change it back to 4px or 8px if your computer can't handle this. Now let's talk about custom attributes. The compatible attributes that can be entered in the attribute input are flames, heat, density and temperature for the VDB volume shader. By default the best of all present attributes will be entered there but if you want you can change the attribute by yourself. But remember one thing, it all depends on the attributes loaded with the file. If you have not exported any relevant attribute with the VDB file then you may not get proper results. With this update you have got custom attribute input for the shaders and a new fire preset for the Mentaflow and many shader improvements. Custom color input is also improved now so that you can get the same level of detail with full color customizations. More different color presets are on the way for VDB volume shader and smoke shader. I hope you like the improvements. If you still have any query related to this, you can directly ask us on the help page or mail me at my email. The links will be in the description. Also do check out transportation add-on for high quality vehicle assets at an affordable price. The link to the add-on is also in the description. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video very soon. Till then bye bye take care and don't forget to press the like button under the video and subscribe to my channel.